Hello YouTube, and this is Gamer Delta, and welcome to the first of my World of Warcraft Mega Bloks reviews. I will be reviewing all of the uh, the sets I have collected so far, starting with the faction packs. This will be split into two videos showing off all four of the faction packs that have been released so far. We will start off with the the two characters from the Alliance, and then in the next video we will take a look at the two characters from the Horde. So um, the first characters. We're going to look at here is the is uh, Colton, the human paladin. Yes, all these characters are unlike the uh, some of the other like uh, Halo characters. They're actually na specifically named. But yes, this is the Colton, the human paladin. This uh, all these faction pass packs uh, cost usually around six ninety nine, but um, I'd look for them cheaper. Like I did, I only got mine for about three dollars. So. Anyway, as you can see here, here's the box. They uh, they have a profile of the character on the side, which is kind of kind of nice. And the box itself is very uh, has a very odd texture. I think it's kind of nice, kind of cool how they did that. But anyway, there's the small box that comes in. You get uh, 28 pieces with this particular set. And here is uh, the paladin himself. Comes with uh, the minifigure and a small set of terrain here. As you can see the you get a just a little grass piece with a couple of cobblestone blocks, a, a plate with the with the alliance uh, symbol printed on it, and then two little torches, along with Colton himself, who is the just the basic size of a uh, normal minifigure. Very nice detail too, along with the armor. As well, I should say is uh, you can also t take the uh, the character's armor off and interchange it with other characters. Some can't change with others, but you can pretty much just pop it off like this. Yeah, oh, I forgot. A little pig that goes in the back. Take it off, and then there you have the little armor pieces. So there's the paladin armor. There you could put that on another character if you wanted. And then just put another another set of armor just leave them like this although that's the only piece of armor that actually comes off these characters like they're uh, like the gloves and the boots don't come off don't come off for some reason and it kind of looks weird when you put it with s other certain sets of armor like if they have like a uh, like some mages have robes and stuff which you can't really I don't know you'll you'll see in the next video one of the characters it sort of has that same get up but um there you go. It has all the articulation of a uh, normal minifigure. It's got, uh, of course, it's got the arms, it's got the elbow joints, and the um, hand can swivel. As soon as I figure out where, uh, there we go. Throw all that back on. I do think this is a very nice idea that you have uh, just uh, so much custom more uh, customizability, if that's even a word, with these characters. And he also comes with one weapon. He comes with a uh, double-sided axe that you can uh, have him hold in his hand as such. Like that. Or, most of these uh, World of Warcraft characters also comes with this little clip that you can put into the back. Sort of like how they missed some of the... Uh, Halo figures come with uh, backpacks f for the Marines. You can uh, just clip the weapon in the back like that. So he's not holding it. Which is kind of nice, but there's uh, the faction pack for Colton. And then the second Alliance character that you can receive is uh, Iron Ox. Forgive me if I, uh, <laughs> if, if I don't pronounce some of these names correctly, but I'm not a huge World of Warcraft Ian, if that's even a uh, that's even a worry either, but there's his profile right there. Kind of menacing looking, really cool. But he is a night elf, night elf hunter. As you can see, there is uh, his, all of his armor that he comes with specifically. He also comes with a spear. As I'll show you right here. And his uh, terrain piece also comes with a, uh, a brighter green hue uh, sort of a grass plate there. It's got a little shrub there. Two columns and uh, another printed uh, slab with a 
I want to call it the I want to call it the faction, but it's a uh, the alliance symbol on it. As you can see, here's a uh, here's what his figure looks like. Pretty cool. I like the detailing on the gloves there. Very sort of outdoorsman-like. On the back. And then, like I said, he gets the little spear, which you can put in his hand or clip on his back. And just keep it like that. There you go. There's the first of the uh, World of Warcraft faction sets. Overall, I like these set I like these characters a lot more than uh, the... The, the Lego ones, because the Lego the Lego box to me just look a little silly and child, well, that's sort of what they're meant to be, but um, these are more like adult collectibles, which I do like. I know a lot of people complain that, oh, you can't really customize anything with these blocks, or you can't, like, not, like, the limit of, like, what Lego can do, but that's, I don't, but th that's not really the point, I don't think. It's just, you know, I got, you got, you get something World of Warcraft, or you get something because normally children don't, uh, at least ones I know don't sort of interchange pieces or break them apart and try to make new things they pretty much just build with it because what's on the box because that's why they got it and that's why i think the mega the mega block brand is better than the legos but oh well it's just my opinion but there you go there's the first two uh faction packs for the alliance stay tuned for the next video and see see the uh, two horde characters